And life is but a song. So, long time no see. Well, I can't see you, but you can see me. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, it's been a while. Um, I think it's been about a month now. Um, this is my second time recording this because I forgot to mention a couple of things. You know how that goes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I... I've mainly been doing a lot of writing, very little bit of reading. Um, I finished a bunch of children's books, um, you know, picture books. Does that count? I'm counting it because they're on Goodreads, so I count it. So, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. So, I have been currently working on Raziel's story. I'm not giving you the title of the series because I keep changing my mind anyway. And, <clears throat> woman's prerogative, right? Uh, let's see. I am on chapter 33 of the second book to my adult paranormal fantasy series. And I am also on chapter... ...29 of Always. This is like my third or fourth rewrite of this story. You know how it goes. You think, oh, this is how I wanted to go, and then months later, nah, this is you, and you reread it, nah, I can do better. And so I add a bunch of more shit, and then, <laughs> so that's that's how it goes. Um, the books that I am currently in the middle of, even though I'm barely reading them, is uh, First to Die by James Patterson. This is the first book in the Woman's Murder Club series. Um, it's a reread, of course. I am only on chapter three, I do believe. Wait. 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 I am. I am. Yeah. I'm on chapter three, page 13 of that. Right? I must be. I have to be. So why is that marked? I have no idea. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Um, I'm also in the middle of A Kingdom of Ash by um, Sarah J. Mass. I am only on chapter 3, page 32 of that. I am on... Chapter 14, page 70 of The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. And I am on chapter 19, page 113 of A Danger to Herself and Others by Alyssa Shine, though. But like I said, I've mainly been doing a, bun a bunch of writing. That's my focus. I want to get some of these writing projects done so I can move on to others that I already started years ago and haven't finished. And, um... Okay, so, <sighs> we've had some things going on. Um, William lost his job. They illegally fired him. Um, he hurt his back and he was out for a week. And they ended up firing him over that. And so, right now he's on unemployment until he finds another job. But, there's this one job offer. Um on this farm about an hour and 45 minutes away, um, going that way, going that way. And they need a mechanic. So um, we would be living in a rented house. Oh, of course, we wouldn't have to pay rent or utilities or anything. And so we would basically be living there for free. And uh, um, they would be paying him $3,000 a month to work for him. And uh, so, and I have never lived on the farm, but I've always wanted to live on a farm. I think it would be a wonderful experience. Um, let's see. 
We both have had a lot of health issues. Um, William needs to be seen for his stomach. He's been having a lot of problems with his stomach. Um, his, he um, had surgery a few years ago um, to have part of his thyroid removed um, due to, um, um, what do you call them? Cysts or something, or polyps or whatever you call them on his thyroid. They were benign, but, um, they went ahead and removed part, part, part of his thyroid. And now the other part is swollen. So he might have to have the other half removed. So <laughs> I, um, have a ruptured eardrum um that i've been dealing with for probably close to a year now um so i'll probably have to have that fixed because it's not healing itself um my hearing goes in and out i constantly hear ringing or a buzzing or something and i get these horrible these horrible migraines from it. My ear is just constantly hurting like somebody's constantly stabbing me in the ear. Um, <laughs> let's see. I... I've been having some stomach issues myself um, and some other personal female issues uh, that um, my OBGYN is trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I'm having problems with my teeth, so I made an appointment to see a dentist. Like, I finally got my Medicaid started, so I'm getting looked at like crazy. Uh, <sighs> I've been having problems with my gallbladder. Um, I found out a year or so ago that I do have a gallstone, but it wasn't bothering me at the time, but now I'm just having all kinds of problems with it. So I'll probably have to have my gallbladder removed. Um, let's see. I ended up having to get another phone because this one, this expensive piece of shittery, um, doesn't charge anymore. So I'm on my new phone now recording this video. Um, <clears throat> It's, it's not the actual charger that's messed up, it's the charging port. Like, there's something wrong with the actual port. Uh, there's just, you know, and we ended up having to get help with our electric bill. We ended up having to get help with food. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just one crazy thing after another. Um, and the place that helped us with the electric and the food said that we can come back every week to get food. And then every three months to get a box of food. So, <clears throat> it's just, and we need, a, we need a new back tire for our car. We, uh, let's see, we need to get tags. We still got to fix his license. Um... His next unemployment check that he gets, he's going to use that to pay the rest of his fines off for the license. And then we're going to make a second trip back to Oklahoma to get the hard copy of his license, hopefully. And <clears throat> it's just crazy. Lots of craziness. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all that I really wanted to say. I don't know what else there is. Um, I'm pretty sure that I've forgotten some stuff. Oh, I've lost some weight. I was, excuse me, I was pushing 350 pounds. Now I am down to 329. So, progress. Guess what the key is? Change your eating habit. Yeah. I don't eat as much junk food. I hardly ever eat junk food anymore, actually. I've been drinking a lot more juice and, you know, water-based stuff. I do still drink soda, but not as much. Trust me, not as much as I was, because I was drinking like soda all day long. And now I maybe have one or two sodas a day, and that's really, really huge progress for me. And it's not like I drink, I know so all soda is bad for you, but I drink like Sprite and 7-Up, and the occasional 
um, watermelon flavor crush because that shit is the bomb. The bomb deity. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that is my update. Um, I decided to wear all of my rings today. <laughs> I'm sure I've got more around here somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've mainly just been doing a lot of writing because that's all I care about anymore is writing. That's my life. So that is it. That is all. And I will get it to you guys in the next video. Later.